Dawson Ryder with you. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. Let's talk about Common Rider Geo episodes 19 and 20. So this was the Common Rider quiz arc, part of the Future Rider, you know, Gates timeline storyline we're starting. So yeah, this is still a hot mess. Um, let's talk about. Let's talk about. Okay, I quit. No, I'm just kidding. Um, let's talk about what I liked first. Um, I like Quiz's suit. I feel like the body is one of the most noticeable lifts from another suit. Like most of the you know, new rider stuff is like clearly mismatched parts, uh, mainly from X-Aid stuff, like this one you can tell it's X-Aid, but I actually really quite like his suit. I like the way the question marks are used for his eyes, and up here looks like very Riddler-esque. It's like if the question was a common rider, but also the Riddler. The Restion, the Criddler, that sounds dirty, I don't know, anyway. But I, I like it, I, I really dig it. I dig some of the concept of it. I'm not a fan of the way they keep using the, like, gray mold of a Jiku driver as the base. I'm really hoping, um, but not gonna hold my breath, that maybe has some story significance, like maybe somehow this, the existence of these guys ties into the creation of the Jiku driver and the timelines where both Geo and Gates come from, but it might, or slash probably will just end up being them being cheap. Like, I understand it, sure, you wanna save money and not create full-on new rider belts for these guys, but I think that they could have done a little bit better than just making the Jiku driver so obvious. Or honestly, I think I've mentioned this before, but I wouldn't mind if they were just like Hibiki where they didn't have a real belt. Like Quiz has the little necklace thing, I'm like, why not just have that be the main thing and then you can just put like a question mark on his belt, you know? I don't know. That just, that bothers me. I'm hoping that there is some bigger reason behind it, but given this show's track record, I'm kind of doubtful. But, I do really like the suit. I like some of the concept around him. I thought it was neat that it was the actor who played Hiromu in uh, Go Busters. Um, that's cool. Um, I like some of the general concept of this. You know, I, I do like that the shows, I mentioned this in Shinobi's arc, but I like the idea of the future writers and um, Geo developing so, some of its more unique story that's its own identity beyond, um, beyond Driver. Um, you know, the legend writers. I think that's cool. I like a lot of the ideas in Geo in general, but I think this arc's been super cool for ideas, you know? But it's just been such a mess. It's like, we just kind of introduced these new rules, sort of, in the last arc, and then we're already not following them. Like, Geo in general is kind of a mess of not following any basic logic, even amongst time travel stuff. But, uh, they have a few rules that they generally follow. Um, and then now they're not even seemingly following those. And, like, what bothered me about this is they did try to do some things differently, which I liked. Like, it kind of threw you for a loop at the beginning where you see another quiz and quiz fighting, and it was in the present. So it was, like, kind of confusing because it's like, okay, these are supposed to be future writers. What is this, common writer from five minutes from now? And, you know, usually the original version of a writer can't exist at the same time as another writer because essentially the another writer and then later the armor time takes the place of that writer in the timeline so and they never really explained that unless I missed it I'm definitely an idiot so there's definitely a chance I missed it if I did let me know you know in the comments be but you know I didn't they, they acknowledged that like how is this possible but I don't remember a scene where they actually gave a concrete answer to why this is possible like because I don't mind that idea um, you know, because we get used to the status quo, especially after m more than a dozen episodes, and so to shake things up, you know, with, oh, how is this happening, and then you give a cool answer, that's neat, but it just seemed kind of like they did it because they wanted to. But yeah, so Quiz is from 2040, but he got brought to the present by Waz, so that basically they could bring Quiz into the situation for Gates, but like, the way he enticed Quiz himself was about trying to find out, um, about his dad's feelings for his mom, um, but, so I liked that they thought differently, but I don't like that they didn't follow through with it. And I think the thing that bothered me the most was I'm not sure exactly what rules they want us to believe with these future writers. Like, because previously, you know, previously on Velocity Blues, no, but previously, like, you know, they'd go to the past, another writer would take the place of the original writer in the timeline, and then they would have to get that writer's watch before that happened and, you know, defeat the another writer, and now the um, original writer's timeline is changed to be, remove all ties to writer mythos, more or less. So that was the rules we established, but it's different now because we're traveling to the future. So it seemed like last week they sort of inferred, at least this was my understanding, that the Shinobi Ride Watch, like the future Ride Watches, were, would be created once the potential for that rider exists. So like once the guy that became Shinobi, you know, 
was on the trajectory to even potentially become Shinobi, the Ride Watch came into existence. And like, I'm not sure how it instantly arrives in Shinobi's hand, but that's kind of the way I perceived it. I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool because it's different than like them just stealing the power. It's based off of like the potential of it. And so, you know, it's neat that the Ride Watch is created by the potential existence of this future rider, but it's also furthering, furthering, furthering the, um, you know, change in the timeline. Like, okay, you know, the potential for Shinobi exists, this Ride Watch now exists, it's physical proof that the timeline is changing away from the Overlord Geo time. So, that was kind of neat. And, um, but then this week, all of a sudden, uh, Waz is like, I want you to take out Quiz and steal his powers because that's part of your journey. And I'm like, why? This is like literally the opposite of last week's, why is it like this? And so he wants Gates to take Quiz's power and then Gates does this weird thing where he sort of seems like he's playing along with Waz, but he's not because he's trying to think how Geo would and, you know, ends up not. I'm glad they didn't end up having him turn again because originally I was like, we just got these two to get along a few episodes ago and now we're going to have them in conflict again. Um, but I'm glad they didn't go for that. So that's kind of a positive note. But so then Waz is just like, well, I got kind of like with, you know, now known as Black Waz. Kind of like, well, you know, you're not in your right mind yet, I don't trust you, I'm going to kind of do things on my own to get things done. And so he just takes the quiz watch from, um, or the powers from quiz. Like, he just goes up to him and attaches a blank, uh, mirrored watch and it just makes it. Like, I don't know, well, how, that's not how the force works. That's all I think about whenever this happens. Like, because I, my understanding is based on potential energy, but this isn't even like, you know, a present day version of Quiz, because how can it be, because I, he's not even born yet, and I don't know, it's just, it's so messy, just, I know that in Toku sometimes there's certain things that are glossed over, and you do have to look past certain things sometimes, and you know, that, that bothers me in general, because I'm not usually a fan of that storytelling, but with Toku, I can accept it sometimes, and I can shut off parts of my brain and just enjoy things, and I honestly am trying that with Geo. Like, I'll sit down and be like, you know, geo has got a lot of cool things to offer, let's just try to enjoy that. Sometimes it works, but then sometimes, like in these episodes, it's like every five minutes I'm stopped by something that irks me, and I wish it wasn't that way, but... And it frustrates me again, I've, I'm going to reiterate at this point, I've said multiple times, is that I like a lot of the Geo ideas, but it's just such a hot mess of like, no one's going to care if we find out what happens to the puppy and pinch it at the end of the book, just sign off on it. That's like, it reeks of that attitude and it bothers me so much, um, especially with something like this, introducing a new concept. Like, it took a minute for me to understand exactly how it worked and what they were going for for the original rules, because they were a little bit messy about it. But they eventually got a handle on it, but we're only in the second arc using this future Ride Watch concept. And it's like completely different rules both times, and it's just a hot mess of confusing. Um, so that really bothered me a lot. There was a neat bit at the end where, you know, Quiz entrusted his future powers to him. Although, should his memories be erased? Like, I don't know. Does it work differently because he's in the future? Um, but, you know, he gives him the ride watch and then Waz forcibly hands the shinobi one to him and he gets a future of what looks to be the gates revive form which was kind of cool but yeah like this just episode man it was just a mess there were certain little things i liked about it but this arc i think was even messier than the last one and that really just bothers me i wish they would find some semblance of consistency like i know that two things that are always going to have stuff that don't make sense are toku and time travel and you put those together and it's a recipe for disaster but I'm just asking for a little bit more concrete, you know, writing that isn't so messy and just reeks of I don't give a crap attitude about it. That just bothers me so much. I'd probably give the, these two episodes like a 6.5, I would say. Um, next week looks to be kind of interesting because we're going to get like a Ryuki episode with um, another Ryuga, which is cool. Like, it's cool in general just that we're going to have that and that we can get people back. But it's, I also like that we're breaking up the um, the future writer arc. Like, I kind of wish there was an episode now between Shinobi and Quiz just to, to break things up a little bit, but I guess it depends on what they have planned and what they have to tackle in the future. And then, um, you know, they hinted at the end at the Geo 2 form by, um, oh, what's his name? Waz. Black Waz having the ride watch for the watch owner guy to fix it. Watch owner. The shop owner watch guy to fix it. So yeah, I just wasn't a fan of these episodes, but you know, next week looks like it'll be fine. It's kind of hit or miss with Geo. Sometimes I'll be super annoyed like this week, Sometimes I'll find it super enjoyable. Sometimes it'll be somewhere in the middle. What will we roll up next week? We'll find out. But anyway, until next time, if you like, comment, subscribe, and of course, don't forget to climb the steps and ring that bell to get notifications for all my videos. Until next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.